The Orm family is grieving tonight after their four-year-old daughter died. She was strangled to death by a blind cord. And we've learned that this tragedy isn't that uncommon. So far this year, seven other children have died the same way right here in the U.S. On average, one child between seven months and ten months of age will die in the country every month. Good for Utah reporter Jason Wynn has more on these tragic deaths. It was pretty tragic. Police say that she was just doing what four-year-olds normally do. Jump around, jump on their bed, and sometimes jump from a dresser to the bed. The accident happened on April 30th. And the mother found her. Somehow, we don't know if she was playing in the blinds or was jumping back and forth, but somehow she just got caught up in them, in the cord. The blinds were modernized and had two cords that dangled. You know, she did what four-year-olds like to do, which is jump on their bed. And her bed was close to this window. The mother and a neighbor tried to give her CPR, but it was just too late. They were able to have the funeral services the last few days. But it's, it's you know, I, I can't say how they're doing. North of Salt Lake in 2006, another mother's child, Abigail Wentz, suffered the same fate. She spoke to the Orem family about the tragedy. And seeing that family grieving the exact same way, I mean, and not everybody's grief is the same, but to watch them go through that, it brings everything back to the surface again. Bringing attention on blind cords back to the forefront for many families. If you have existing blinds or concerned about that, they also have ways to retrofit them so that they are safer in your home. Now, if you'd like to get away from cords on your blinds, there's simple options where you can just push and pull your blind up and down like that, or you can go with a remote control and just hit a button to keep your child safe. At the House of Blinds in Salt Lake City, I'm Jason Wynn. Good for Utah.